Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we're going to be doing some home automation with the Raspberry Pi using an open source software called OpenHab. Now, this is more of an introduction video because I'm going to be referring to this video later in the future when I do more projects with OpenHab. So let's get started. So for this video, we're not really going to need much. We're just going to need the Raspberry Pi and probably an LED. Now I'm using the Raspberry Pi B Plus right now because my Raspberry Pi 2 is being used for another project and also my Raspberry 3 is being used for another project. You're also going to need the latest Raspbian image, which is Jesse, and I'll leave a link in the description below on how to get that installed. Now without further ado, let's get to a software section. All right guys, so those of you who doesn't know what OpenHab is, it's basically a open source home automation software that you can install on top of Linux. I'm going to leave a link in the description below of where the website and where you can reach all the information that we are talking about. Now, to start off, I'm not going to actually go to download and download their binaries and stuff like that to install. What I am actually going to do is add a repository into our system so we could do app get update or app get installed to upgrade our open head system. Now, to get started, I'm going to leave actually all the codes in the description below and on my website so you can follow along. That way you don't have to see what I'm typing out and everything. Now what I just did is add the key for the repository. I'm going to add the repository itself into, into etc. app sources list and then you know make a open app list. It's after we added the key and then the repository, sudo app get update. After we did the app get update, you want to do sudo app get install open hab runtime. Next, we want to enable, so we'll boot up open hab when we start the Raspberry Pi. To con actually control OpenHab, there's actually a lot of add-ons. And add-ons might not necessarily include just for the Raspberry Pi, but other add-ons for other stuff. Uh, what we're going to need to add on for this is uh, the GPIO pin. Now, to do that, we would use sudo app get install openhab add-on io-gpio. After installing that, that's an add-on that it will allow OpenHab to actually use the GPIO pins. Next, we also need to install um, OpenHab binding for GPIO pins. So that's sudo app get install OpenHab binding GPIO. That's what it is. Whoops. Add on binding GPIO. All right, so now that we have everything installed and in place, we just have to do a little bit of configuring. So the first file we have to modify is OpenHab default configuration file. So sudo nano etc default OpenHab. Here we have to change the user and groups to pi colon pi. Pi pi. Save that. And the next file we have to do is sudo nano user lib systemd system open hab service. And here we want to change the user and group to pi pi. Next to initiate the change. We have to do sudo systemctl daemon reload. Then sudo system open hab. Oops, sudo service open hab restart. Now that's if you don't want to restart the Raspberry Pi, you could just restart the open hab service. After this is all done and the configurations, we have to go and edit our um, sites and our home sites. So what I'm going to be doing is sudo nano etc open hab configurations items and I'm going to call this home dot items. 
going to be a blank file because we need to type something in here. Now for this, what we want to do is enable our GPIO pin for our LED. So what we want to do is it's going to be a switch. And remember, it's case sensitive. Raspi LED GPIO pin 4. And that's what's going to tell the Raspberry Pi to either, you know, turn on or turn off. Control X, save, yes. Next step is sudo nano etc open have configurations sitemap and that's the site that we're going to be viewing so when we log into our raspberry pi and pop in the url for open hub the sitemap is what it will look for and it'll display what items we have or how we want to spell it and stuff like that so in here what we want to do is site map home label equals home so now it's going to be called home frame label equals raspberry pi gpio led okay now next we want to open a second bracket in here Switch item equals raspi LED. Again, this has to be case sensitive to what you wrote before. And there we have it. We have our first switch. Normally, you could just restart the service and it should bring up the new sitemap. To do that, you would do sur sudo service open hab restart. All right, now that everything's restarted, to reach our website or our open hub environment. All right, so all you need to do is type in your Raspberry Pi IP address, followed by a colon 8080, then slash openhab.app, question mark, sitemap equals home. And from here, you have that Raspi LED, the thing that we created before. I actually ran into a little snag because I did a typo before, but it's all fixed. That's why it's up ready. And here, you can press on and off. So all we have to do after we set up our environment, created this home item and created a sitemap, we just have to plug our GPIO pin 4 to the LED. And then the other pin to ground. As far as the final test goes, all we have to do is just navigate to the address with our phone. And as soon as you press that LED, Raspberry Pi LED, see how responsive that is? Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Now with this open hub environment it actually makes it very easy for us to configure and add equipment or add things that we want to our open home environment. With also having an app or a website that we could reach, everything could be easily turned on or off or monitored. Now I'm going to be doing more videos like this in the future using open hub. So if you haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button so you get notification on when those videos are going to come out. Now if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this, leave it in the comments below. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.